You know, it, Bob Borisage, Robert Borisage, who has been on this program before, he's, he's, he's a good guy. He's the co-director of the Campaign for America's Future, along with Roger Hickey. And this morning, I got a press release from the Campaign for America's Future. And it was so brilliantly constructed that, you know, I mean, the, it's, it's not inconsistent with things I've been saying for, the, you know, nine years on this show over and over and over again. But the, but it, it, he just said it so well, I just I want to share with you his language. He said, Republicans wrongly think that, or wrongly equate, Pentagon spending with national security. But our real national security requires strengthening America at, here at home. And he, he wrote, Republicans believe that bloated Pentagon budgets strengthen American security. In fact, the reverse is true, writes Bob Borisaj. The most important security priority for America is making the investments here at home vital to reviving our economy, modernizing our infrastructure, educating our children, and getting our fiscal house in order. That is really what makes America strong. We're not strong because we can kick somebody's butt on the other side of the planet. We're strong when, when people have jobs here, when people have good educations here, when people have the ability to, to, to know that if they fall through the social safety net, they will be caught. That's when we're strong. And frankly, you know, that's not us right now. So... You know, he goes on to say the Cold War is over. Oh, and he and and you know, what's the greatest source of waste waste and 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 fraud in the entire government? The Pentagon. Pentagon spending has doubled since nineteen ninety seven. Doubled. He says the Cold War is over, bin Laden is dead, Al Qaeda is dispersed, the US cannot and should not police the world. The Pentagon now spends almost as much on the military as the rest of the world combined. It's the largest source of fraud, waste, abuse in the federal government. The budget has more than doubled over the past 10 years. That would be since 2002. We're spending more you know, on defense right now than even in inflation-adjusted dollars than we were when Ronald Reagan won the Cold War by outspending the Soviets. Right-wing talking point. I mean, the Soviet Union was collapsing at that point anyway, but... The right-wingers love to credit Reagan with it. Ain't true, but nonetheless, he spent, Reagan spent like crazy, you know, a trillion dollars on Star Wars. So you've got a bunch of senators who are out there. They're in the pocket of the military-industrial complex. They're, they're hoping to become... They're hoping to become, you know, when they grow up, <laughs> shall we say, they are, they are hoping to become uh, lobbyists. And as Bob Borisov says, these senators would weaken our security, not strengthen it. And this is just, you know, this is what's going on in America. And you get you get the you know the 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 Mitt Romney's saying well you know I don't I don't worry about the very poor they've got social safety net programs to fall back on. Well, maybe I would submit to you that the social safety net programs that the very poor can fall back on, you know, to the extent that they're there, those those social safety net programs. Are, but well, you know, actually, here here's what it is. I'll bet that Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich and all these guys who are multimillionaires, they think that if you're really poor and you're on food stamps, and and stuff like that, that it's sort of like for them, you know, going to the bank. They go to the bank and say, you know, I need some pocket change. Give me a thousand bucks. And the bank says, okay, here you go. And they don't realize that the really poor, in order to get anything. 
basically they have to stand in line for hours. They have to fill out forms. They have to go through all kinds of song and dances. This is the reason why so many people who are eligible for Medicaid in the various states don't don't have it. They don't have the ability or the time to go stand in line or to fill out the forms or the, you know, it's it's really quite remarkable. And I think that's what accounts for that lack of empathy. But, you know, I, 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 I maybe maybe there's some other explanation. Maybe you have an idea about it, but I don't. I just can't come up with it.